everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to get Flash uh, up and running on your Nexus 7 device. Actually, this will work on um, any Android Jelly Bean device, so even if you have a Galaxy Nexus, this will work for you too. Uh, before I begin, basically, for those of you wondering why Flash does not work on Jelly Bean devices or anything that will be newer than that, it's because Adobe has announced that from Jelly Bean and onward, they will no longer support Flash for Android. Um, it's basically their way of protesting that people should adopt HTML5, which I find really bizarre because I'm not sure why just regular consumers are being blocked from using Flash. Um, it's actually website developers' jobs to implement HTML5, but whatever, right? Um, so it is possible to get it up and running on your uh, Jelly Bean device, whatever it may be, and you do not have to be rooted. So basically, your device does not have to be modded to make this work. It's very easy. Um, so if your device is like mine, it's still out of the box, you haven't modified it, you can still do it. So first off, all credit goes to uh, Stempox on XDA forums. This is the person that discovered this method. And basically, this uh, forum link will be put in the description below. And what you're going to do is just basically scroll down. Um, for some reason, he's posted two links to the Flash app. Um, I believe I clicked the first one. Is it? Yeah, I clicked the first one. Hit download down here. Um, then you're gonna download Dolphin Browser HD. You you need to download this version specifically because what happened is I tried downloading Dolphin Browser from the Google Play Store, and because it's so uh, they updated it, this this method will not work with the newest version of Dolphin Browser. So you must download this one right here. Okay, just click the link, hit download down here, and if for any reason these links aren't working, uh, please notify me and I'll re repost the links in the description below if these ones aren't working in the future. Uh, so you're going to get both those files, both the apps. You're going to do exactly what it says, copy it to your SD card of your Android device, um, and install it. Well, I'm, I'm, from here on I'll show you my method on how I get it up and running. Okay, so you got your... this is a Nexus 7. Uh, I guess to prove that I'm actually running a Nexus 7 and it's Android Jelly Bean. I'll show you that right now. About tablet. There's Nexus 7, Android 4.1.1. Okay, and the method I use to install uh, apps that are not installed from Google Play is I use this app called, if the camera will focus, APK Manager right here. I'll put a link for that in the description below as well. So you just open that up. And actually, I forgot one step. For all you newbies that aren't sure about this, go to Settings first. Hit. Um, security and here unknown sources should be check marked okay that'll basically allow you to install apps that are not from the Google Play Store uh, so once again go back to APK manager once the security setting is changed then you're gonna hit install you're gonna install Adobe Flash Player which you just put on the SD card of your Android device app installed done uh, keep in mind, even though it says app installed, I tried using it with Google Chrome, the default browser in Jelly Bean. It does not work, okay? It does not accept it, so um, that's why you need Dolphin Browser. This is Dolphin Browser, this is Tony Browser. Install. Okay, uh, just open up the app right away. And this is the welcome screen on Dolphin. Uh, I don't join, I just press accept. Okay, this is the important part. So the version of Dolphin Browser I downloaded from uh, Google Play Store did not have this top option for Flash. That's why you downloaded the old version from here because it gives you this option at the beginning. All right. So that's the most important part um, about downloading that version. I don't want a shortcut, I don't want to import any bookmarks. Yeah, yeah, come on, go back. Um, I personally recommend that it says flash support always on. Leave it like that. That's my recommendation. Next, I don't want to join anything. Uh, now I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of flash in action. Uh, I just Google flash website. Uh, I usually use this link up here, top 10 best flash websites of 2012. And uh, I tend to use this result number five, monoface, because I, I find it quite entertaining. And it's pretty fun to use. All right, so there you go. 
as you can see flash is loading up this is a heavy flash website so in case it lags you might uh, be wondering why it is it's because this is a very flash intensive website um, so yeah as you can see flash is working I, you can just tap whatever it's a pretty fun website and change their mouth their nose lips eyes and it's it's really well designed their their faces always look like their uh, facial features can match any face no matter what you change it to really well designed website but that, that that's a whole different topic right so whatever so there you go uh, I got flash up and running on my next 7 and like I said it can work on other Jelly Bean uh, Android devices and you do not have to be rooted um, so yeah, I hope that helped a lot of people out there. If you found this video useful, hit the like button. It does help. Subscribe to my channel or check out my website for technology news and rumors. And thanks for watching.